The BMC journals now have a pretty high reputation amongst my colleagues. I'm increasingly being used by them for publishing, so it's natural to think about using them for publication now. But publishing in the journal is, is quite painless. Submission is easy, it's quick. The referee's comments came pretty promptly, and this is, this is, the decision was made pretty pr promptly as well. Um, so one of the real plus points is speed publication. If you want to get an article out quickly, which we all do, then online journals are much quicker than standard journals. I've published in BMC Evolutionary Biology and BMC Bioinformatics, and generally it's, it appears that people have picked up on those publications. And so it means that access is there, people are looking at these journals regularly. I think um, two or three years ago that was not the case and the general opinion was that the quality of the publications was low but that really has changed in the last year where n now a lot of my colleagues who were resistant to using these journals are now telling me, oh, how do I get my publication in there? I think open access brings a number of advantages over the traditional route. One is that it's, very, it's a very quick means of getting your publications out because online open access means a lack of a print run of a standard form so it happens much quicker and that matters because you want your colleagues to get a hold of your research now, not later, when someone else may have already made Im an impact in these areas, so in the area that you're interested in, so speed of access is good. Um, open access is exactly what it says, it means that anybody can get hold of things and that still matters to a lot of people. When I'm at home, it, I can't get hold of all journals that my, my, my university subscribes to from home, but mm. with open access I can, so that's not a problem. It also means that impact in less developed parts of the world um, is there without even trying. They can get hold of this. For UK scientists, there's not a problem of cost because all UK universities are signed up, so that's not a problem. And finally, one of the m I think one of the good things about the whole open access um, push at the moment is that it's breaking up an existing patterns of behaviour by publishers which are, can be described as ripping off scientists and the public by charging exorbitant amount of money for their journals. And that needs to be challenged by competition.